All right, Adam, Christy, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, and you? Hello, thank you. One of the main things I'm super interested about uh, talking with you guys is obviously Welcome Project, which is a health and wellness CPG media brand. Um, before we dive into that, could you tell, tell us a bit more about your background, You know how you got into wellness, fitness, uh, the whole lifestyle around it? Yeah. So I'll start Christy. Um, you know, both Christy and myself were working in, uh, in finance and New York from, uh, I think 2008 to 2015. Um, we've always been into health and wellness. We do, you know, Christy Pilates, myself, you know, boxing and working out and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we always knew that we wanted to be business owners and start a business. We weren't just quite sure how, towards the tail end of our time in, in New York, you know, we decided to open up what is called, um, restore, uh, cold pressed, which is a series of, um, modern organic juice bars and wellness cafes throughout the Midwest. That is one of our current ventures. And, uh, you know, that kind of now led us to launching, um, welcome. Awesome. And, and I mean, restore you, I know that you have like physical locations and, you know, so you're d selling directly to, to consumer. Um, how did you learn about juices in the first place? What made you go into that venue? Really, the main thing was getting involved in juicing ourselves and just live, living a healthier lifestyle. I know one of the times I came back home and I wasn't feeling well, wanted a green juice, wanted a ginger shot, and that it really wasn't available. There were things like what we wanted, but nothing that was actually what we do. So we saw that kind of gap in the market and realized that it's something that we could fulfill. And if we do it well, we can really prove our concept as well. So and did you, did you have, sorry to interrupt, no, did you fine. have like some friends trying it and they were like, wow, this is really awesome or something? Yeah, it was a combination of relying on our own taste buds and input and also reaching out to everyone that we knew that we trusted their opinion and getting their feedback working with different chefs, um, people that were in the ju juice business as well, um, and getting their input, their feedback, experts in that area, combining all of those and kind of doing it, you know, our way, like the best way we knew how. So after that, it was a lot of hard work because we hadn't been in the restaurant industry before. So we learned a lot on our feet, obviously, literally, um, but kind of, kind of took off from there. So this is our way of kind of, it's the next step. It's the evolution in, in what we've been doing here. Okay. And um, with, I guess with Welcome, it's going to be, you know, mainly an online DTC with some aspects of products being available in stores too, eventually to give context to people of how this brand is going to be built because there's an aspect obviously of Web3 in it, but there's also Web2. Yeah. So, you know, what welcome is, is it's a way for us to cast a, a wider net. So I'm going to backtrack here a little bit and just, you know, uh, how we got into welcome is, you know, just through our, our juice bars and cafes, you know, we're located next to all the major sports arenas in, in Cleveland where all the concerts are and sporting events. So we've had the opportunity to serve some of, you know, I mean, honestly, the world's most elite athletes and, and, and musicians. So, you know, you know, we've had a lot of people who have asked, you know, hey, can you ship juices to X, Y, and Z? You know, can you ship any of these products to California or wherever it is? We unfortunately can't ship raw juice, but we also didn't want to lose those relationships that we've worked hard to, to build over the years. So we started thinking, you know, what can we do? What can we serve? What can we make that will be more shelf stable that can be shipped? You know, and we came up with, you know, what will first be the first product with Walcom brand, which is our functional nutrition bars, you know, they'll be shelf stable. We've worked with, you know, several professional athletes and nutritionists and trainers, you know, to come up with something that can be served from everybody from the college student or your, you know, everyday health enthusiast to, you know, the professional athlete. These will be sold both direct to consumer and, and online via e-commerce. We have a Web2 digital agency that's built us out a fully optimized website for direct to consumer, but also we have, they'll also be served um, throughout our cafes and via wholesale as well at several, you know, high end fitness boutique and studios and, and any, you know, hopefully we'll see them on grocery store chains and Whole Foods chains and stuff like that, you know, in the very near future. 
I guess that's the advantage that you guys have is you already built that network and that knowledge that you can just kind of, you know, leverage in some way. So in this project, there's, there's going to be obviously the, the DTC aspect of it, but there's also going to be, you know, health and wellness in general, right? Like, cause you talked about being a media company almost. So how do you see that playing out? Yeah. So one thing I think that's really cool about that, and you know, we've actually had the opportunity to pick your brain, Martin, regarding the media aspect of things is, you know, like I said, we, we do have a lot of, you know, really great relationships from everyone from, you know, athletes to entrepreneurs to, you know, just doers in general. And we get to hear all of these really great stories about the daily routines that people go through and, and how they optimize their lifestyles to perform at their highest, you know, whether it just be, you know, in sports or business or just life, how we're going to be able to do that, you know, incorporate that into especially the Web3 aspect of things is, you know, we're going to bring a lot of these people in, we're going to have them do Q&As and AMAs and, you know, do, a, you know, IRL events and things like that with some of our founders pass holders, you know, uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we plan on being at all of the, you know, uh, conferences, the Web3 conferences that are coming up that, you know, hopefully in the future, the, the VCons, the NFT NYCs, all that good stuff. And, you know, bring in some of our partners and, and, and brand ambassadors in to give uh, fireside chats and, and maybe even do workouts and things like that. Um, so we're really excited about that aspect of things too, because I think there's a lot of really great information out there that that people want to know, they want to hear, but there's not really one cohesive face or brand that's bringing that all together, especially in the Web3 space, you know, so far in the health and wellness um, space. And, you know, we kind of hope to be that that brand. Mm -hmm. I, I know you mentioned functional nutrition. Uh, when I talked to you on the phone and also at uh, during VCon, you, you, you mentioned fun functional nutrition is really like, I guess, the guiding, the, the ethos of welcome in general. You're, you're designing your products in a way that makes it functional for people to consume. And then you're just not like stacking ingredients in it and saying, and putting it on a packaging to say like, to make it look good and make people buy it. it, it all these things really work well together. They function well together. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, that's how we operate our cafes um, and juice bars as well. You know, we always say that, you know, if the ingredient doesn't serve a purpose, doesn't it usually doesn't make it to our menus and, and that's kind of what we mean by you know functional nutrition functional bars you know and we will start with the bars you know that will be the first product of welcome but then the beautiful thing is that the dow will help decide the direction that we go from there what the next product will be whether it be powdered greens mix pack whether it be an electrolyte mix pack it could be collagen it could be new flavors of bars um but we're very big into functional nutrition meaning the core ingredients every ingredient serves a, a purpose a functional purpose to help people perform at their peak whether like i said it be in sports wellness day-to-day -day activities you know mental health physical health all that good stuff awesome actually christy i have a question for you um speaking with adam apparently this project was actually planned to be launched pre-pandemic can you tell us a bit more about that? So basically you, you had everything ready to go, like even before the pandemic? Yeah, basically we were, we had finalized all of our recipes, packaging, ingredients that obviously took out the bulk of our time was just even figuring out what would the best flavor combinations were. Obviously we really want them to taste good. So all that time was spent getting up to that point before we decided to actually pull the trigger, make a purchase order for that initial run you know, the pandemic and the cancellation of all the events that went along with that was really the pause in it because so many of those fun things that we want to do now were just completely put on hold. Until we figured that part out, we initially just decided to put a pause on the initial run and kind of regroup, refocus when we could do those fun in real life events that, you know, we're looking forward to doing now, you know, concerts, events, and also those relationships and those events that go along with it were kind of put on hold. So we're excited to finally bring it back and be able to do all those things that we intended to do two years ago. That's awesome. And how has the idea evolved, you know, over time? Because obviously the, it was pre-pandemic, but I guess with those two years that, because I'm guessing it's two years now, <laughs> the, the, the whole pandemic really like messed up our, our, perception of time and especially being in the nft space i feel like it's been it's been ages ago but how has it uh, changed for the vision so you 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 still had the same products that you wanted to put to market the bars but now obviously you're including that web3 aspect web3 component of it which 
you want to make the NFT itself, the, the, the welcome and like welcome DAO. So, so you're going to implement the, a, a DAO dynamic to the project. Can you um, elaborate on that? Like, why did you choose that over just making, let's say, regular membership NFTs? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we had initially, like we said, we were going to be just kind of a Web2 CPG brand or company. And over the course of the pandemic and up to now, you know, we just kind of went down that Web3 rabbit hole here, kind of like you. And uh, that is now one of our passions. You know, we're proof members, which, you know, big fans of obviously shout out to the proof fam. As we got to launch, you know, welcome here, we said, well, how can we kind of marry kind of our two passions here, which is the health and wellness space that we know and we're already a part of, but also Web3, which is where we see personally, that's where we see virtually everything going. You know, it, it's the future. So, you know, we started kicking certain ideas around. And as we've seen with, you know, other, other proof members and some of the other people in Web3 that are starting to form DAOs, you know, we do think that there is a way to marry both Web2 and Web3 through Welcome DAO here. And it's our plan to sell 2,500 to 3,000 founders passes. What those are going to do is, you know, help build that community where people are going to be rewarded uh, with everything from in real life events to higher end merch, custom welcome merch we want uh, to have made to uh, welcome products. They're going to have a say in the, in the direction of the business and the company. And there's a couple of, um, other really cool uh, rewards and benefits that Founders Pass members will have that we can't talk about just yet, but they're uh, they're in the works. And I I think you're working uh, we're, you're working with Cadre Capital, is that right? Yep, yep. We're working with Mars Media again. Other you know Proof Fan members and then Abraham at Cadre Capital is going to help with the smart contracts. Um, another proofer, very cool. So. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about Web3 is just getting to know everybody, forming those relationships and connections and, and just the synergies that exist, you know, just across people of all different backgrounds. Yeah. And the cool thing about this whole space is that we get to work with the people that have the same have the same building mentality as us. Like I've already worked with uh, actually the person that's going to be making the smart contract for you guys, like Abraham from Cario Capital. So he's going to be a part of team, too. Yep, absolutely. So again, that's one of the really cool things about Web3 is it kind of brings people from all different backgrounds and all different you know geographical areas together. We're obviously working with Mars Media for Welcome, and now we're also working with uh, Abraham at Coterie Capital, another you know fellow proofer um, for the uh, smart contract. So super excited about that. You know, it's just really cool to see all the different you know synergies that exist between us. So and are you are you more into NFTs than Christy? Uh, I would say so, or I at least was in the beginning, you know, um, in the early days and it's crazy to say early days, but you know, but when we first got into NFTs, you know, with, with V friends, um, o- over the last year, uh, thankfully Christy trusts, you know, my judgment and decisions. And although she didn't really quite understand V friends at first, she did very quickly when she saw the, um, you know, the value appreciate in them. So, you know, it kind of turned into, uh, or turned from, um, kind of what are these things to, uh, now, you know, what are we buying next? What's the next project? What do we like? So, and isn't that crazy? Because, you know, V Friends at first to me was literally like, it's going to be the access to the conference. And that was like pretty much it. And now you're like, oh, wow, actually, it's the access to this crazy community that Gary has built. And it's also your, your foot into the, the whole ecosystem itself. Prior to V Friends, there was, n- there was not really like nfts that promoted utility it was mostly nfts about you know the art itself and and i guess like being part of uh, maybe an alpha group but there was not this utility tied to the nft which which kind of ties into i guess like the whole things the things that we're building right now which is web3 and web2 the value of irl and being you know real life things are still very prevalent in society yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, I completely agree. My, uh, you know, Chrissy's profile picture now is a world of women NFT. You know, you've got your profile pictures, you've got your utility based, you know, NFTs. You know, our, um, our project is going to be primarily u- utility based. You know, like you just touched on a second ago with Gary building that really strong community. You know, Proof has built an extremely strong community. We l- absolutely love what, you know, Kevin Rose and Justin and, you know, everybody, you know, Ryan played a large part in that, you know, as well have done. And, 
you know, we want to build that community for the health and wellness space in, in Web3, whether you are super into performing your best, being at your best, you know, mentally and physically at all times, or whether you are, you know, new to the space and just want to learn more about health and wellness or some of our, you know, athlete friends that are going to be brand ambassadors of the project. It's really cool because they're super into health and wellness. You know, they say, Adam, I want to learn more about Web3, but I don't even know where to start. And, and that's what we want Welcome to do is kind of act as that bridge to help onboard people, you know, into the Web3 space that maybe have some interest, but don't necessarily know where to start. We want to make it as, as painless and quick and easy as possible for them. And, and I think that this is a way to kind of onboard the masses here, but making it in a digestible way and, and, and a relatable way that everybody kind of understands. Exactly. Because to me, there's no, you know, there's no single human person on earth that wouldn't want to have good health you know, feel better. I, I mean, I, I wake up every morning. I'm like, is there, is there any way I could feel less tired right after a day or, or waking up energized? I mean, that's one thing that we noticed is kind of missing is more of that in real life functionality of, okay, yeah, we, you know, are a part of different, um, you know, NFT communities and discords and things like that, but they don't really have that component as much on the well, none have had that wellness component, but that in real life experience where we can kind of marry the two communities. So I think, like you said, you're always looking for ways to improve your own well-being and hopefully we can be that catalyst for a lot of people. And this is the type of space that everyone is so engaged. So if you if you make a project like this, you're actually pushing so much of the, I guess, like like the right values. You know, because if, if we kind of tie it back to what we we're talking about with VFriends, I have a big respect for what he did, what Gary did, which is he wanted to make this IP around characters pushing beautiful values, you know, like kindness, compassion, like all this and all these good things. And I think with Welcome, it's, it's going to be very similar in a way, but in its own way, in the sense that you're pushing health and wellness, right? Like you're it's not about, you know. I don't know, like flashing the cars or this or that. It's more about, it's more about like, Hey, feel better, you know, mentally and physically. I agree. It's the great thing about health and wellness is that there's so many different aspects to it. We're all constantly learning. I, in addition to working out and doing lifting weights and stuff, I, I box as well, you know, and Martin, I know that you do, you know, you do some Muay Thai and some other stuff as well. And it's just, so I want to learn from as many different people as I can you know, there's people that will hope, you know, that will hopefully buy these passes that, that are in so many different other aspects of, you know, whether it be mental health, you know, and improving that. And we've got some really great people that, that we're working on bringing on board right now that can certainly speak to that from a professional sports level down to, you know, the, the everyday, you know, level. Um, is that something when you mentioned like the media aspect of welcome, is that something you're planning to implement into the project, giving information in the in a way of a blog, in a way of having guests on in Discord server? Maybe if you hold the token, you'll have like a, a private call with a super famous coach that his specialty or her specialty is mental health and and how to deal with any anxiety uh you know that you feel when you're riding the bus for example i'm using a very specific scenario but go for but it you're, but you're absolutely right i mean and that's exactly what we plan on doing whether it be you know we do have a couple of really cool um musicians that have actually reached out to us that i never thought would you know that that saw that i was at ethereum denver and and they were doing one of the after parties and they said hey I just saw your uh, social media. I see that you're in the health and wellness space. Are you out here because you're thinking about getting into something in Web3 with health and wellness or what? If so, I'd love to be a part of it. And I said, well, get, give us a month or two here and, and uh, we'll get right back with you. But if we can bring any of these people in to do maybe a token gated playlist or live set list one night or play some lo-fi music that puts me in the right mental space so that I can perform, you know. Uh, That'd be so you know, crazy. Oh, and, and, it, and it's all in the works. And we've got so much so many cool things that we're working on right now um it, it's you know i can't wait till we can start talking about it i can't wait till this thing you know this thing mints um you know we're we're very excited bringing some of these people into 
just share their daily routines and stories and maybe doing, you know, Q and A's and AMA's, you know, discord town halls, you know, to, to our token gated act, you know, channels, you know, that, mm-hmm. that are good, that are going to be in welcome. So I really, you know, that's probably the most exciting thing for, for me is learning from all these people. Another really cool idea that we have is we're going to be present at all of these conferences that, that are coming up for the years to come as well. So, you know, um, so, so meaning like, uh, you'd be supplying health products in collaboration with the organizers? Yeah. So maybe we'll do, you know, maybe next year for VCon, you know, we'll try and have, you know, welcome electrolyte packs. You know, I certainly know I could have used one of those after, you know, a couple of our, you know, <laughs> Rick house after parties shout out to Drew or, you, you know, the, the proof parties or, um, you know, another thing that I think would be really cool is, doing some biohacking stuff with welcome, you know, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll have a cold plunge tub, you know, there and, and people who are, or founders, pass holders can come do a cold plunge, you, you know, at VCon in the morning, or maybe we'll do sunrise yoga. You, you know, mm-hmm. we, um, we're also going to do, you know, the after parties and all that stuff as well, but we're going to have, you know, things in, in the health and wellness related space there as well. So I think doing sunrise yoga with maybe a famous yoga instructor, would be really cool. We're doing a fireside chat with an NBA athlete who has a ring and can tell us, you know, what type of mental space they, they're in, you know, on a day-to-day basis to help execute, you know, what their goals are. So there's so many different ways that we can take this thing. And that's, I think, is the most exciting thing about, you know, about Welcome Here, in addition to the products that we're going to be rolling out as well. Yeah, especially being in the NFT space for, you know, ever since V Friends, I guess it's it's like the last May. Um one thing I've noticed with myself is like how reactive we can get, you know, with these things, like little notifications, like shots of dopamine, like, Oh, where, like I have to keep up with this project. Where is this going? And I just think it's going to be um, like a breath of fresh air to have something like this in the space that, that promotes a bit more a balance as I'm being more involved with certain projects like welcome, but also like Rick house Dow. Um, I do my fair share of moderation as well. And it's very easy to, to become reactive to those things. And even though you want to disassociate yourself, sometimes you just need to, you know, to kind of take a step back and, if, if there was something like, uh, like welcome that actually showed us some breathing exercises, you know, that'd be so, super awesome. Yeah. I mean, th- those, all those things are right up my alley. You know, I am by no means an expert on any of those things, but I love learning about them. I love implementing them into my everyday life. Like you just said, breathing exercises, you know, wonderful. Um, like I said, it, it's just very exciting to do, you know, and to be able to implement all of these things, especially in the web three space, you know, um, it's exciting that we found a way, I think that we found a way to marry these, these two passions of ours together. The other thing that I think is, you know, exciting for anybody who's thinking about purchasing a founder's pass is that this is also backed by a real company with, with real revenues that will be here. This is not some, this is not some idea that we have where, okay, let's go out and let's see what we can mint out here. And then from there, we'll, we'll take the products to market if we can, or then we'll go formulate our roadmap. This is something that, you know, an idea that we have had that's been in the works for a while here. This is something that that's happening, you know, um, you know, regardless of whether we were to mint anything or not. And bars, our first products, you know, those are ready to go into production. As soon as we mint here, that's going to happen. So can you tell us a bit more about the bars themselves? From what I know, there's going to be two different bars. It sounds exciting because I saw that there was a, there there was a lot of interesting ingredients in there. And um, I'd just love to, to hear you riff on that for a second. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we've already gone through a dozen different variations, you know, of, of, you know, fine tuning the recipes, those are all ready to go. You know, that is what we were doing, you know, pre COVID is, is fine tuning these bars. So just like with our juice bars and getting our recipes down with our juices, we've had a lot of different taste testers. So that's one really exciting thing is every time we, we get a recipe that we think we'd like running them over to our friends, businesses and having them try them or, or any of our, you know, customers or even any of the professional athletes and showing them the nutrition labels and all of those things think, Hey, w- what do you like about these? What do you not like? Do you like the taste? Is the texture right? You know, do you like the levels of sodium in them? Is there enough protein or marine collagen? In these. And that's what these bars are starting as. They are functional adaptogenic bars, meaning they serve a purpose. Each bar will have, whether it be wild caught marine collagen in them or reishi mushroom or lion's mane, each one of them will have a good, a good amount of protein in them as well. So they're bars for 
the, the, I always say that they're bars for doers. They're bars for people on the move. They're bars for people that need something in a pinch, but that actually tastes good. And, you know, if we're being honest, you know, it can be tricky to have healthy food taste good sometimes. And that's one thing, <laughs> and that's one thing that I think Christy and I kind of pride ourselves on is, you know, making healthy food taste good. You know, the first flavors for each bar that we're rolling out are tart cherry vanilla. The second flavor is going to be salted caramel. And then the beautiful thing is what, once this is all ready to go and our Dow is, you know, hopefully sold out and, and our founders pass holders are all ready to go, they're going to help determine the direction of the company, you know, and that's, what's going to be fun. You know, I think for both them and ourselves is what's the next flavor of the bars that we put out? Do we do a yuzu lemon basil? Do we do a uh, blueberry, whatever, you know, and, and they're going to vote and have a say on that. Or maybe we don't do any more bars. Maybe we want to go in the direction of a, a functional chocolate or, or a collagen pack, you know, or an electrolyte mix, whatever the case may be. And they're also going to vote on, you know, we're going to have lists of influencers and, and athletes and potential brand ambassadors that we're going to have who, who would make a really, who would be a really great fit to this group or who do you want to hear speak in the discord or bring on to a Twitter, a welcome Twitter spaces. So, you know, it's going to be very, very interactive. And I think those are some of the most fun projects. You know, Proof is really, really interactive. Um, I love being a part of it. I love participating in it and, you know, seeing that I'm really proud that, you know, the proof community gets a say in how things go, you know, or, or how things are formed or structured. And we would like to do that, you know, with welcome as well as, is give everybody a say and know that their, you know, opinions are valued. Fantastic. For, for ad adaptogenic, for the people that don't know what that is, can, could you explain like quickly um, what you mean by that? Basically, um, yeah, just using, utilizing mushrooms for your benefit. So reishi mushroom is one, cordyceps, there's a variety of different mushrooms that are in that class of adaptogens. So what we're working on is a lot of them, you know, quite honestly, don't taste amazing in their natural state. So we're utilizing those um, in a format that also tastes great. So that's why we also have the marine collagen with our bars currently, because that blends well, as opposed to like a vegan, a pea protein, something like that, where it's not going to have the best taste structure because you're kind of doing um, an earthy flavor with an earthy flavor, whereas marine collagen kind of helps balance those out. There are functional mushrooms in, in general um, that can be used to help benefit, you know, your state of mind, your well-being in general. Mm -hmm. To give and a broad... The, the, and the wild-caught marine collagen... That to me was super interesting. Why did you go for that instead of, um, you know, beef collagen? So I like wild caught marine collagen because I think that it blends and it creates a much smoother texture. Um, you know, and again, this is kind of the mantra, you know, and ethos of, of, of what we do here. You know, the, the highest quality ingredients and an approachable price point at the most approachable price point that we can. So we could have went with you know, beef collagen, but I, we personally believe that wild caught marine collagen just creates a, a smoother texture, a less gritty texture. And that's an, ex an important part too, is, is that like, you know, like you were saying, if it doesn't taste good, it's not going to be sustainable. It has to be sustainable. You don't want to just like, you know, force yourself to eat a bar if it doesn't taste good. So, so I'm happy that that's really a part of your vision too with Welcome, is that you want to make products that not only are high quality, um, have amazing benefits, but also just taste delicious. Yeah. And I mean, you know, selfishly, I'm excited to do this, uh, you know, also just for me. I mean, I actually, I, these really do taste good. I think that anybody who tries them is, you know, going to agree. We've gotten really great feedback on them so far, you know, just with all the samples that we've had. And I, I mean, they taste great. I'm excited to get them on, you know, store shelves and via TD, DTC and online as well. And that's another thing I'm excited about for Founders Pass holders is they're going to, you know, it's going to be one of the, the rewards is that they're going to get to try all of these things. They're going to get to help guide the direction and give us, you know, feedback on all of these things. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's going to be like a large focus group that people, you know, get rewarded in so many different ways with. And that's one really, really cool thing is just being able to get the opinions and advice from people. And my hope 
is that with, you know, within our founders past community and, and, you know, our, our discord and Twitter and all that good stuff is that you know, I'm quite sure that there's people out there that know a lot more than us about certain aspects of things or know about new, new ingredients or new products that should be brought to the masses that we honestly might not even know about yet. And, and that's, what's so cool is bringing attention to that. And we kind of want to be that hub and source of information within both the web two and web three community um, for, for health and wellness. You know, we want to be that go-to place and go-to source where if you have questions about anything, whether it be a new, a new workout or, or maybe I want to get it you know i personally i have friends who who do iron man competitions i really want to do an iron man later this year hopefully and you know i would love for somebody to purchase one a founder's pass and participate who, who does iron man's and kind of guide me in that direction and you know where do i even start with things like that so if you have anything mental health wellness related you know nutrition related we want to be that source for you that kind of go to so holding a founder's pass holders will have the ability to vote. You, you guys would have like a list of things and then people could vote on those things. Like could DAO holders just like propose a vote out of nowhere. And like, let's say uh, tomorrow I hold a pass and I say, Hey, I think like we have to launch coconut water. Could you actually do that? Or it would be more uh, you guys that kind of streamline the options that are available. Yeah, I mean, anybody will be welcome to, no pun intended, will be, will be welcome to, you know, bring any new idea to the table, you know, and we can certainly vote on that. You know, at, at the end of the day, you know, I do think that, you know, you, you want somebody steering the ship and making, the, you know, the, the final decisions, which would, you know, obviously be Christy and myself. This is our background. This is what we know, you know, from both a, a financial perspective to logistics and costs and all that type of stuff. And then also the health and wellness. Um, so what we will likely do is we will, you know, collect ideas from, from the group and, and collective, if you will. And we will propose a list of, I don't know, let's say, depending on how many different ideas are five to seven different ideas. And then the founding members will all vote on, on which one, you know, makes the most sense and which we'd like to see. And then we will either likely move forward with that or take that into very, very heavy consideration when it comes time to sourcing our next products, you know? So that's going to be really cool. I'm excited to see what the next products are, um, you know, how well these bars hopefully do. And, you know, I think that's another really cool thing is that we've already got a launch pad for, for the bars and packs and, and welcome brand through all of our cafes right now. We have wholesale partners lined up. We have relationships with a lot of the big box places. We uh, have certain, you know, cu a curated list of, you know, high-end fitness boutiques and studios that we've already kind of got brand partnerships with that are ready to carry them. So, although this may be a new concept, this may be a new concept or business to Web three. This is not us starting from scratch. You know, I guess the one silver lining with COVID is that we've had plenty of time to. Uh, you know, revamp, fine tune, get all of our ducks in a row for, uh, you know, for welcome. Yeah. And also you, you were fortunate enough and myself to join like communities like proof, which I think just completely changed the way that we, we perceive, I guess like the, 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 there's just at this point, there's no limitations to what you could build because we have such a powerful group of thousand people in there. Like everyone has amazing skills on something that I would never think that I could meet that person, right? Like a Cottery Capital, like I've never thought if you have a DAO idea, you can just, they'll actually like create the smart contract for you. And there's just no hiccups and you don't have to worry about that. You as the founder, you just have to worry on executing your vision. Yeah, completely. And I mean, just even the support that Proof has already shown to welcome. And we haven't even really released much information about it yet, to be honest with you. You know, I've, I've floated the idea out there. I, I've said, you know, kind of who we are and what we're doing, you know, given our little elevator pitch. But, you know, we have not really gotten into depth about, you know, as much as we've just discussed right here. And just the level of support we've already received has been very, very positive. And, you know, that kind of does, I, I will admit, you know, kind of get you over that mental hump of, of how do we launch a Web3 company or how do we incorporate Web3? We have so many different relationships within the collective now that it was just, you know, you kind of float the idea out there and, and the, the Mars Medias and the Coterie Capitals and everybody else, they, they kind of find you, you know, proof. Um, our Discord's a very active, you know, Discord and community, you know, of, in proof. And I didn't have to search too far to find a... Uh, 
you know, <laughs> a media team that can help with the web three, you know, mm. mar- marketing aspect of things. I did not have to search far and wide for somebody who could help with the smart contracts. You know, we all were just kind of here. It, it's awesome. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Aside from NFTs and welcome, I wanted to ask you what's, what's one health goal that you have right now? For myself, you know, I just want to be the best that I can be a, a every day. You know, I want to have more energy to perform in, in business every day. You know, Christy and I are always just trying to better ourselves. I, I feel good right now. I've got a lot of energy. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do, you know, all the things that we're executing on right now. I would love to find some time to, you know, I just mentioned a few minutes ago to do an Ironman later this year. I've been thinking about doing one for over a year now, year and a half now. And it seems like you know, every month or so I have another friend who's, who's doing one or starting one or, you know, signing up have for one. Have you ever done something similar to that? Like, uh, I have swam before, you know, I've, I've been a lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I run, I, I bike, but I have not done that to the you know extent with the endurance required for that. I know Martin, you and I have spoken off camera before about how, you know, we're both a little bit into, you know, the MMA and, and boxing. I absolutely love boxing. I'd like to continue to get better at that. You know, I mean, that's something that's, you know, a lifetime of learning, you know, I've been doing it for four years now and I feel like I'm just now scratching the surface. So, you know, I just want to get better at what we're doing, to be honest with you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. I mean, I think just, I think a, a new era of health and wellness is just optimizing yourself so that when you're 50, you still feel good. It's not necessarily like, oh, I want to be this or that. It's just how do I optimize myself so that I'm in great, I can still, you know, I've been skiing my whole life. How can I keep my knees in shape so that I, I can still ski what, as my parents are doing in their 70s? So, you know, um, just that ongoing aspect of health is kind of something that we both believe in. And it's more sustainable and kind of just an ongoing lifestyle versus a one milestone that you achieve. Touching on that as well. As much as we talk about physical health, you know, I think that mental health plays such a big part, both our our physical health as well. And, you know, just optimizing our days and being in a good headspace so that you can get through the day. I love that. What's something that you do for that personally? Well, that's what I want to learn more of right now. I personally do yoga whenever I can. Um, So that always gets me in the right, you know, headspace. I, I use an app called Headspace, you know, as well, which is meditation. I would love to bring somebody in and talk about, you know, self-guided meditation and just breathing exercise. And that is in the works and plans for, you know, our discord and our token gated community and all that good stuff so, and welcome community. You know, I'd love to bring somebody into the next NFT NYC and maybe we have a private, you know, yoga session or a private guided meditation session, you know, at one of these studios in New York. I mean, we can do things like that. That'd be so cool. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I'm really excited for that. There's a couple of athletes right now that are, that are at the you know forefront of, of being mental health advocates. We're in talks with them and hopefully close to finalizing something with them to be ambassadors of our project and, and be in the welcome discord. And I would love to just spend 10 minutes, you know, picking their brain with, with 2,500 to 3,000 of us, you know, in, in, a, in a discord town hall or Twitter spaces, you know, we can get thousands of people to just talk about, you know, what gets you in the right headspace to perform and, you know, whether it be a basketball playoff game or, or just, you know, in a board meeting, you know, whatever the case may be. I think that mental health plays such a huge role in everything and being in the right headspace, you know, helps you keep a clear mind and helps you perform at your best and be ready to take on the challenges of the day, whether it be like business, school, relationships, whatever the case may be. For you guys personally, how do you learn? Like, do you learn via podcast? Do you, do you read a lot of books? Do you, do you participate in conferences? How do you learn? Well, I'll go first because I think that I, I learn very differently than Christy. Christy seems she, you know, learns much faster than I do, admittedly. Um, picks up on things <laughs> a little awesome. fast. I, I learned through re- I listen, I learned through repetition. I, I learned by doing. It may take me a hundred times to you know figure something out, but when, once I learn it, I get it, it's in my head, it's never leaving and and you know, I, I, I got it. I do a lot of, of podcasts. You know, that's how I found out about proof is through the modern finance podcast. I was following Kevin on that. I listened to the, you know, my first million podcast with Sam Parr and Sean Purry, you know, I listened to the Martin Hughes uh, podcast, you know, 
Um, Who's that guy? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, but, you know, I learned, you know, I drive a lot, you know, th- between our cafes and, and checking in, you know, on our team and, you know, every day. So I've, you know, kind of started to replace listening to music with, with podcasts. So I can get at least a couple of hours on, on a podcast or an audio book you know, every day. We also read, you know, quite a few books when there's time. If not, we'll do them on Audible. But just making subtle little replacements, maybe not listening to an hour of Sirius XM every day and maybe replacing that with an audio book or a really great podcast where you're learning something. But I try and use any downtime that I have to to kind of decompress and, and learn whether it be a new skill or or something about Web3 or a really great, you know, um, a really great interview. It is always, you know, fun as well. So that's kind of how I learn is, is by doing. Um, Chris, do you want to touch on you? Adam and I are both um, podcast adopters, that's for sure. So we, you know, are all about just, I love, I even listen to like the Knowledge Project, Proof Podcast, obviously, you know, the Daily for News, but really being able to multitask because I find that, you know, I can do some more mundane tasks while still listening to something that is giving me some knowledge is a win-win. And then learning more about health and wellness, you know, listening to two sides of the story, because I'm sure, as you know, there's conflicting information out there. Um, So just getting different people's viewpoints, whether it's listening to them or reading things that they've wrote is a great way to kind of get different aspects of knowledge and hopefully benefit from that in the long run. So um, speaking of very similar. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of fact checking, I just want to make sure that I noted that adaptogens can also be other plants other than uh, mushrooms, but ginseng, for example, is a common one that people may have known about as well. So, isn't that like a to... root? It is. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Same yeah, with maca. I, yeah. I feel. Oh, maca. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think they they make like a powder out of that, right? Correct. Like maca powder. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think the the challenging part is always if you if you look at all the information that's on the internet, eventually everything cancels each other out. Absolutely. Like there's one person <laughs> you can see a research that says like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, and then the next research says like, well, actually, no. <laughs> and so, how do you guys like stay on top of information, and how do you um how how do you filter it? to actually make a product with it. Because obviously we mentioned the bars, you're taking something like, you know, wild caught marine collagen, you're putting, let's say like a reishi mushroom in it. How do you come to that? I guess like the, the, the the laboratory experiment in a sense, like how do you get to that final product? And you say like, okay, wow, this is going to be, this is awesome. And if people take it, it's going to be great. They're going to feel more energized or uh, actually on the other side, they're going to feel more relaxed. You know, we try so many different products through our, you know, we always try and stay on, on the cutting edge of trends and, a, and ahead of trends. And, and that's, again, another synergy and, and wonderful thing about having our restore cafes is that we are always putting out the newest, latest, greatest, healthiest items. Our, our vendors send us samples. We try, you know, there's, there's, you know, people that want us to carry their products. So we have the opportunity to try so many different things. We get together, get feedback on the products, see what we like, didn't like how we felt, things like that. We, we took the same approach with our bars as well. You know, we always have, it's just like making a really great juice, right? A really great green juice. You start with your base, You know, the products and, you know, the, excuse me, you know, the ingredients that you want to be the base of the product. And then you build from there. Mm -hmm. And and that's kind of what we're doing with our bars. We knew that we wanted to do wild caught, not regular marine collagen, wild caught marine collagen. We knew that we wanted to do, have a certain amount of certain adaptogens and a certain amount of protein in, in, in the bars because, you know, we don't want to do what a lot of places do where they just put trace amounts on, in, into their bars or trace amounts into their products or food or supplements or whatever the case may be, just so that they can get that ingredient listed on the label. That's not us. That's not what we've ever done with our juices. That's not what we've done with our bowls or our functional lattes or anything. That's certainly not what we're going to do with any of our welcome products. We really, really mean functional when, when we say we're going to be selling 
functional products. So we kind of just, like I said, started with the base and knew that we wanted to have at least 12 to 14 grams of protein within each bar. You know, we wanted to make it approachable. We didn't want to put too much in there so that we turn some people off, but not too little so that we turn the hardcore people off. We wanted to have a nice, happy medium there. We knew that we wanted to have certain adaptogens, you know, and there's certain synergies between certain adaptogens and L-theanine pairs well with this. So we have a bar that's really great for calm, calming where, you know, you have it maybe after an event or as you're winding down for the day. Certainly won't make you sleepy, but it's also not the same as our other energy, more energy focused bar where it's got a certain adaptogen in it. And then it's also got MCT oil in it so that you can perform at your peak. So we've really worked with so many different, so many different people, whether it be, like I said, professional sports nutritionists or trainers or athletes, or even just our, you know, our friends, you know, who live busy lives, you know, and what do we want to have in these products that makes us, us feel good and be able to perform at the end of the day. So it's about performance as much as it is, you know, taste. Yeah. To me, it's the exciting part is really the fact that the space really needed something like this, because when we think about IRLs in the Web3 space, NFT space, it's a lot about like, let's meet up before the conference or before the speaker and like, let's go to happy hour and then afterwards maybe grab a meal and then have a glass of wine or something. And, and I think like all these things have their place, but it's nice to have a balance. Like imagine if we could just, like you said, meet up for doing a yoga session or like doing a breathing uh, kind of meditation. That'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, like I said, you know, life's about balance. There is certainly a place um, in our everyday lives for, for those happy hours. I mean, we were right, you know, alongside you at, at the happy hours and the proof dinner and the, you know, <laughs> you know oh my gosh, that after that Fogo to Chow dinner, I, I think I could have used a welcome bar the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, and we had to wake up early too for the next day. <laughs> I just, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, that, that was, that was a killer time. That was a, that was a blast hanging out with everybody. And, uh, that was a great meal. I just, I was ready for something a little lighter the next day. And, and that's kind of what we want to be, you know, we want to be there for your everyday use, but also, you know, your, your morning after your day after, you know, we, we want to be the other end of that balance, you know, for you and for anybody. And, and that's, you know, the other thing that we want to stress about this project is it's not only for the hardcore health enthusiast or wellness enthusiast or whatever the case may be, the athlete, the, the business, it's not only for that, it's literally for everybody. It's for anybody that wants to better themselves in whatever aspect of their life. We kind of want to be there and be that platform, you know, for them to learn, to voice their opinion, to, to chat, to learn from them you know, as well. And um, I think there's a lot of different, you know, really cool things that we can do here. We just got to execute it now. So exciting for me to, to uh, thank you for, for actually bringing me a part with this project, like with the welcome project, because I'm super excited about what you're building. And uh, I think we, we, we have a, a lot of work and a lot of uh, avenues to explore. There's a lot of opportunities there. Um, there's a lot of good that we can bring to the space, whether it's through better nutrition, better hydration, like being more calm in general, uh, like controlling our emotions so that we don't just react to things, but being more grounded. Like uh, we could all use more of that. I, I've never, <laughs> I've never met someone that's just like, oh, me, I'm, I'm just good with all that. Like there's always a way to improve. Yeah. Yeah. And if somebody does say that, you should be a little skeptical. <laughs> yeah, then it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's like so someone saying, yeah, I'm enlightened. You know, like, yeah, like okay. that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you uh, taking us on and working with us as well. You, you know, I know that you're uh, you're very busy with all of your different ventures as well. But the fact that we were able to get you know some fellow proofers together to to help us you know launch and assist this thing and and to be able to get all the feedback and positive feedback from everybody who's allowed us to pick their brains both in the. Uh, the, the, you know, the proof community. And then uh, I talked with the, um, you know, the captain and coffee podcast or Twitter spaces guys, you know, and they let me pick, I'm fortunate enough to, uh, you know, let me pick their brains. And I got some really positive feedback and excitement from them on the project. So it seems like this thing is, you know, trending and heading in the right direction. We really appreciate it, you know, for our founders passes, we're, we're going to do, like I said, it's going to be anywhere from 2,500 to 3000 founders passes, you know, we'll cap it at that pricing, you know, uh, we're going to try and make it as approachable as we can be. So it'd probably be anywhere from a quarter of an ETH to, you know, maybe 0.3 for allow us spots. And again, those are all fluid numbers right now. So working with that, but it's our goal to make this as 
you know, approachable and accessible as possible. We just really want to build that community. And, and I know a lot of people, you know, say that sometimes with projects, but that really is the main goal of us dipping, you know, our, our toes into the Web3 space with Welcome is, is building that that sense of community and and being able to learn from other people as much as learning, or learning from other people, excuse me, as much as it is, you know, all of us, you know, teaching people as well. That's what it's about. Where can people learn more about uh, Welcome? Yeah, um, our website is going to be www.welcomebrand.com. Right now, our landing page is up. You're welcome to um, shoot your email in there, you, you know, if you'd like, and we'll collect that and we'll reach out to you as soon as this project mints. Uh, we're active on on both um, Instagram and Twitter right right now, and that's at Welcome Brand. And that's Welcome spelled with two L's. And I should touch on very quickly, that is how we came up with the name. Welcome is, is a mashup or a fusion of the word wellness and welcome. You know, we think that wellness, it should be a very approachable topic, should be a very approachable thing, you know, health and wellness for people. And um, we were surprisingly able to, to, you know, get the name Welcome. So we ran with that one. That's a beautiful um, way to actually end this show. I just wanted to thank you guys for, for taking the time. And uh, again, super excited to be part of this. Uh, thank you, Christy, Adam. Thank, thank you me. for having us on. We yeah, appreciate thanks, it very thanks much. Thanks for having us.